welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is so exciting. I haven't vlogged in so long. Um, I was using my camera for work and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a week in my life vlog because I find these so fun. Also, when I was travelling, I was doing these all of the time and I really enjoyed them and I loved watching them back. So, welcome to a week in my life. <laughs> I also just think it's fun for you guys to see what I get up to on a week. Also, this is so dependent because every single week is different for me. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's currently Tuesday um, and it's 12 o'clock. I have just done some work this morning um, and the rest of the plan for the day is potentially going to pick up a new phone, so that should be fun. Um, also want to make some lunch, so I need to pop to the shop. And I thought you guys could come with me. Um, I was thinking of making like a soup. I don't know. I'm trying to think of meals that really incorporate my um, more vegetables. Because I'm just not eating as much as I should. Um, fruit and veg wise. So I really need to find nourishing meals. Um, but yeah. If anyone has any recipes that you could comment down below. That would be so helpful because I don't eat meat. So difficult sometimes to find meals to make. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing that today. And then the rest of the week, I am quite busy to be fair. So it will be fun for you guys to see. Well, hopefully it'll be fun for you guys to see what I get up to. Um. Okay, I just got back from the shop. I decided to get soup that was already made because I don't actually have too much time because I need to pick up my phone from apple so i got some tomato and basil soup which sounds really good and then i also got some bread a cheese and jalapeno bread which sounds really good and we also have some olive bread so i'll just pick and choose because i don't know if i like this but olive bread is the best ever i thought you guys could sit with me whilst I eat because if I'm eating I either need to watch YouTube or I need to be talking to someone can never eat in silence also the soup's actually really good mm. so is the bread it's actually really spicy though <laughs> but it's really good yeah, I was basically just going to talk to you about my week and the things that I've got planned I think it's going to be a pretty boring week um Tomorrow I want to try and bake a crumble because I've been saying that I want to do this for so long and I have just haven't got around to doing it. Whether I do it, I don't know. Also still got a little bit of work to do. The good thing about my work is obviously I'm self-employed. I can just choose when I work. So what I tend to do is I always try and get all my work done on Mondays and then I've got like a good week because I can just do all my like personal bits for the rest of the week um but obviously I can't fit everything in on Monday so but I do try and do like the main chunk of work on Monday so then I've got the rest of the week to myself um so this Monday I did yesterday I did like a full day of work literally like as I woke to when I slept just doing work and then on then today I've done a little bit this morning um but then I get the rest of the day to myself, so I think it's quite good, like, um, doing it like that. Um, but I still have some bits to do tomorrow, so I'm going to wake up tomorrow, do some work, walk to the shop, because I need to... My goal for the week is to try and walk to the shop rather than drive, because then I get my steps in. Otherwise, there's just no reason to walk. Like, I feel like I can't motivate myself. Last week, I did... Last week? I'd say about two weeks ago, I tried running for the first time, and I was so bad. I managed to do like, well my aim was to try and do a 3k and it just was not successful. Um, I just stopped like multiple times. And then I have my friends on this running app. And I can see them like running 5k's like before work. And it just makes me feel like shit because like how do they do that? Like I'm really struggling with running at the moment but I do really want to try get back into it again also I don't have any running shoes so I've just been running in um my new balance so it's just really hurting my knees and my ankles it's really overexposed and then Thursday I think I need to 
meet Kitty for work because I think we've got a shoot but I don't know it's not confirmed but if not then I'll think of something else Friday I've got to go into Soho because I need to go pick some stuff up um for work um and then Saturday I think my parents will come in which will be nice I don't know what we're gonna do there's this really nice um nice falafel place in Notting Hill that I tried like three weeks ago and ever since we've just been addicted like it's so good it's like they freshly make the falafel and it's in like this warm wrap mm, and it's so yum so I think and also both my parents are veggie so I know they'll love it so I think we may take them to Notting Hill because it's really near to my house um so that's the plan for Saturday this will all be in this vlog because I'm doing like a week in my life um and then they're also coming to the flat because my dad's bringing a van to take all that furniture down I'll show you in a minute but basically I completely redecorated the flat because when we moved in my dad gave us some furniture like old antique furniture and I just kind of not my vibe like he kind of gave it to us to get rid of it out of the shed if that makes sense and I love it like it's such nice furniture and we loved it at first like it was so perfect for when we were moving in because we could just like settle because the whole move-in process is so long um but now I finally managed to get the flat to how I want it to be and I'm so happy with it I'll give you a little flat tour in a bit and show you but it's so nice I'm not like 100% sure on a few things but with time I'm sure it'll be fine but yeah so that's the plan he's going to pick up the remains of the furniture I don't want this to be too long so I'm going to go finish my soup and then I will update you when I'm getting my phone we've just arrived at Westfields and I'm going to pick up my phone I'm so excited I haven't reset my iPhone yet because I feel like I need it because also they need to see the code so I'm hoping that I can just reset it with my Mac but yeah okay I'm going to go because this is so embarrassing vlogging in public in the Apple Store, it's taking so long to transfer all my data onto my new phone. But it's so nice. To be honest, the iPhone 16 is actually a lot bigger than my current phone. I'm actually going to miss this. I've had this phone for so long. I think it lasted me like, I don't even know. How long have I had this for like six years? Five years, maybe? And it's like crystal clear condition. Look at the back. What, the iPhone has it? Well, I've had it for like three years. No, I haven't. What, the 14 times? Is that it? I feel like I've had it for way longer, but I've had this apparently for two years. And it's literally in perfect condition, no scratches or anything, so. But the only reason I'm replacing it, I would not be replacing it, but it's because my camera quality is so bad. Um, and also my audio is completely broken, so when I'm like filming, I can't hear myself speak and it's so muffled. So that's why I'm getting the 16. Okay guys, I've just got my phone. I'm so excited to set it up. Um, we're basically now just looking for somewhere that I can buy a phone case because I don't, but I always find it so much better ordering phone cases online because then you can actually like properly browse, otherwise I don't want to rush into it and just buy one for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, also I kind of think get much because I know they have a nice street hair like that. Also, I really want to try the, um, yeah. New one that they have. I can't remember what it's called. Did I try the banana bread? I think I tried the banana bread. I think I did like it. Um, but yeah, I'll update you when I decide if I'm going to get a phone case now or not. Why are you running? Okay, I'm now back from getting my phone. I haven't actually shown you, but I'll show you later. Um, and now I am cooking some dinner. I think I'm making potato and cauliflower tacos. So I've just popped to the shop and got everything that I need. Um, but I'm gonna, I've made these a couple of times before and they're so yum. I saw these potatoes on Instagram and they were like really crispy and they looked so good. So I'm gonna try and recreate those because when I normally make the tacos, it's normally like just mushy potato. But I think it'd be way nicer if they were crunchy. <laughs> just 
put in the food and I'm just waiting because the potatoes take an hour in the oven and I did not know that and it's already eight o'clock. So it's a late dinner for us and I still need to shower. Um, but Will's just popped out because we've seen these cookies from M&S and they literally look like heaven. We are obsessed with the white chocolate cookies and they've now just released a gingerbread and white chocolate <laughs> flavoured cookie and that literally makes me want to cry because that is my idea of heaven. Anything gingerbread, anything white chocolate, especially together, what? Like I'm so excited. So he's just gone to go and find us those. To be honest, I don't think he will. I think he's gone all the way there, but I really don't know if he'll find them because it's already quite late. Um, and I feel like the bakery bits get put out in the morning, but we'll see. I've just made my smoothie. Mm. It's so good. Mm. This morning, I'm basically just waiting around mm. to see what time I need to leave um, for work. And then once I know time, I'll be able to like determine and plan what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. But for now, I'm just going to get dressed and do some worky bits. And then, yeah, I'll update you as the day goes on. Today's definitely a bit of a boring day, to be honest. Um, but hopefully tomorrow is a bit more interesting. Hey guys, it is now later on in the day. I think it's around four o'clock and I'm basically just walking into town because my plans have been all over the place today. I was supposed to go into work at two. So I was kind of just like waiting around. Like, you know, when you know you have work, but like, so you just don't really get much done before work so that's what happened this morning um, and then I didn't end up going because it's quite dark and it just wasn't really the right situation um, so yeah I wanted to make sure I get some sort of steps in today so like I said yesterday I'm gonna force myself to walk to the shop so I'm walking into town which is like half an hour so yeah um, I'm basically just walking to um, m and because yesterday we tried to get those cookies, the gingerbread and white chocolate ones, but we couldn't find them. So I'm going for attempt two. <laughs> it's slightly earlier, so they may have them. But if not, I'm gonna try the triple chocolate cookies because I've also heard really good things about them as well. Um, but yeah, and also see if I can pick up anything for dinner. I don't really know what I wanna do yet, but I'll try and figure it out. That was honestly such an unsuccessful trip <laughs> to m and but it's fine, at least I got my steps in. Um, hello? Anyways, we've decided to stop off at Sainsbury's to get some dinner because I just didn't know what I wanted to make from m and and then I kind of had like an idea of something from Sainsbury's. I'm basically gonna make like this ravioli how do you like sun-dried tomatoes pine nuts pasta sort of thing situation it's really good um so yeah we're gonna do that for dinner and then tomorrow i don't know if i'll film dinner tonight because it's probably quite boring but yeah tomorrow i think should be more fun because i'm going to attempt to make an apple crumb a uh, berry crumble um and then also I need to try and do something else in the day. Guys, I think the last clip that I filmed, I was at Sainsbury's and I told, ow, I just wiped my hand. I mean, I told you that we couldn't get the cookies because m and didn't sell them well. We then well, drove to the big m and which is literally like a five minute drive away from us, which we should have done anyway. And it had both the chocolate and the gingerbread, which is so fun. I have already tried them, but I'm going to try them for you again. So this is the gingerbread and white chocolate one. Mm, it's incredible. I would probably rate it like a 10 out of 10. I'm like a huge M&S fan. 
and like the cookies from m and are just like the best things ever like i'm obsessed with the white chocolate ones from m and we just always buy them and these are basically the same but just more fun like they taste like gingerbread and i love gingerbread so much the chocolate cookies which i would also give mm, actually i'd probably give these like an eight because they're not as soft and like gooey they're more hard but I could have just had a bad batch. Mmm. So good. Okay, so I've just got ready for the day. I'm wearing this gorgeous... Let me try and show you in the mirror. I'm wearing this gorgeous top from Scarlet and Sam. It's so cute. It's like... Ruched? Is that the word? I don't know. But it's gorgeous. Um, The jeans are H&M and I'm wearing these loafers these frilly socks and this bag is from ego i believe and the glasses my bug glasses are from jimmy fairly i love this fit it's so cute we're just going to the shop now i'm going to go buy some lunch and also pick up the ingredients for the crumble i need to write a list actually um before i go because otherwise i get really overwhelmed in the shop um because i don't know what i'm buying um but yeah i've just filmed some ads for work and then oh my god i, <laughs> I look like a little teddy bear um it is currently 20 past four so cold so i've wrapped myself in my dressing gown and i've been sitting in bed for about an hour doing absolutely nothing and i have so much to do oh my god but i'm going to go and bake the crumble now um because i know if i don't do it now i won't end up doing it today and i can't do it tomorrow so i need to do that and yeah okay so i'm in the kitchen about to start making the crumble i am following well there was loads of different recipes i really need to wash this it's got <laughs> so much stuff on it um i was wa watching um a few different types of recipes but this one for me just looked the easiest it was literally just um 500 grams of flour which seems a lot also another issue is i don't have any Oh, that's a lie! I have scales! Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. I bought the scales when we moved in. But they don't have a battery in them. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. But basically that's everything you need for a basic crumble. It's literally just sugar, butter and flour. But I'm going to add some other bits as well. I'm going to go and wash my hands again and then crumble it. everything to here because I don't have a bowl and I'm gonna mix in some almonds I thought that I would show you what it's currently looking like oh my goodness I am actually so proud I know it's not that hard but it looks and smells like I wish you could smell how good this smells look how good this looks oh my god I made way too much crumbly stuff so guys I don't really understand what happened but all of like the berry stuff rose and it's like <laughs> ruined it which is so sad because before it went in it looked so good Guys, I'm honestly feeling really sad about my crumble. I feel like it took me so long and I just don't really understand why it did that. But that's okay. Also, the dinner that I made two days ago, I made like a pasta bake and it was so rubbish. And I just feel like I need to be better at cooking. Make it so Happy Friday. We are now heading into Soho. I didn't get time to film this morning because I woke up so late and had to film some bits of work. We've got a hot chocolate place booked for 11.30, which is so exciting because I've she wanted to try this for so long. Um, it's basically just melted chocolate. 
cup, cup which sounds so good i don't know if i mentioned that yesterday but that's the plan for this morning and then at one o'clock i've got the suite that i have to visit and then after that i need to do a little bit of shopping because i need to get some skincare because i'm completely out of my moisturizer so that's the priority also saw this pack that i really like in bashka so i'm gonna go have a little shop there um and then yeah that's the plan and then i don't want to get back too late because we've got a reservation at eight um at that jacuzzi restaurant that i said but yeah this is what i'm wearing i literally had no time this morning to get ready so i just chucked on something so i'm wearing this striped top with this khaki scarf and then just black jeans Nothing interesting. Right, at the hotel, hot chocolate is, and I'm going to get regular milk, hot chocolate, and I'm going to get it with the triple chocolate because I think it comes with like white chocolate, dark chocolate, and then chocolate all just melted around the edge. It sounds really good. But I do feel kind of safe. Guys, look at this hot chocolate. <laughs> That's insane. The only thing is, it's like, the only thing is, is, you can't pick it up because it's like so chocolatey. So I feel like it's supposed to scoop it. It's just ridiculous. It's got like white chocolate, like melted down the side. It's really good though. Yeah. Guys, we have just finished our hot chocolate from that place. Oh my god, I feel sick. It was good, but it wasn't like, I wouldn't return. I'm happy I tried it, because otherwise I would just constantly think about it. But um, yeah, the place we went to last week was so much better in my opinion. Like it didn't even taste like a hot chocolate. It kind of tasted like you were just drinking like melted chocolate, which was kind of, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so. We're now walking into um, Soho because we are needing to return some bits and then I will update you when I go to the um, gifting thing. But yeah, I'm just hoping I don't have any chocolate around my lips because I feel like I look like a child. <laughs> I guess it's just melted white chocolate but iced but it is like ridiculously good you need to try it like it's so good oh my god it tastes like um have you had that yogurt before the nesquik yogurt it just tastes like white chocolate yogurt that i used to have and it tastes so good um kind of tastes like a milkshake but without the ice cream but yeah um i didn't feel much at gifting sweet because it was just so embarrassing like I feel so good vlogging um but yeah now I'm going to um Chinatown because I need to buy some new skincare and when I was in Vietnam I was using Centella and I just remember my skin being really good whether that was the hot weather or whether that was the products I don't know but I'm gonna go and have a look and see if they have the things that I'm looking for um Guys, I'm finally home, so I thought that I would just pick up the camera and update you. My feet are literally in agony. Um, like, if you saw, I'm not going to show you because that's disgusting. <laughs> but if you saw how big the blisters are, it's literally so bad. I've done, like, I'd say over 20,000 steps today. Which is, oh my god god that is fucking huge sorry excuse my french that fucking oh my god oh my god oh my god i am literally covered oh my god that is that is oh my god i actually can't believe that 
guys look at this bag that i bought how cool is that oh my god i'm obsessed with it like literally how cute is that oh. <laughs> last night at the restaurant if i did then i'm quite surprised because i got a little bit um but yeah i have i woke up at like 10 o'clock this morning um and then i've just been tidying the flat because it's such a mess like we just let the mess build up <laughs> for quite a while so i just did like also how cute are my pajamas i'm not really wearing the top but the bottoms so cute i literally love them a little like a candy cane um but yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you and i hope you've had a lovely wonderful week and if anyone watched the whole thing please comment down below because i'm just interested to see because i just <gasps> don't think anyone would watch it because it's probably gonna be very long but yeah i hope you enjoyed bye